Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, this is gonna be kind of a little bit different video. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of garage work. I'm just getting ready to head out. I was charging the battery on the S2000. My buddy Johnny, he's on his way over, so we're getting ready to head to Indiana. Um, little uh, quick recap on what's going on. I actually had a friend reach out to me. His name is Gary. He uh, texted me the other day and said, uh, you know, would you be interested in purchasing one of my engines for sale? And, uh, and then he said, or any of your friends, just, just let me know. So then he sent me a picture of almost 30 Nissan Indy VK45 engines. So V8, 3.5 liter, um, just beautiful, beautiful engine layout when you see it when we get there. So um, I told him at the moment, I'm probably not gonna pick one up just yet because it's my off season for the business, but I am interested in possibly putting it over in the GTR or maybe even in the S2000 race car. So I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but he's got one on hold for me, so we'll see what route that goes. Um, also, I told him I would post these on Facebook for him and uh, didn't expect it to get the attention that it did. Uh, I have had hundreds and hundreds of people reach out to me. I'd wake up every morning to a lot of new messages and <laughs> it's been overwhelming to say the least. So I, I, I'm trying to get back to everybody. If I miss somebody, I apologize, reach out again. Um, I'll do whatever I can to answer any questions. I'll get you Gary's information. Uh, I think he's been really helpful in this process and his mechanic, Brad, he's a, he's a phenomenal gentleman that knows more than anybody I know about cars. So he'd be a great person to speak to as well. So um, we're gonna be heading out there in a minute. I'm just waiting on my friend Johnny to pull up and uh, I'm gonna just do a little bit of footage, maybe do a little walk around some of his cars, uh, kind of show you guys what he has. I'm not gonna hit him with a lot of questions because I already talked to Gary this morning and he's uh, he's got some meetings he's gotta run to. So um, I'm not gonna really go through the whole interview process and whatnot. I'm just gonna go there, kind of film, talk, you know, show you guys some, some cool things. So and if you have any questions, you can feel free to put them in the comments, reach out and I'll do what I can to definitely answer them for you. Um, I'd even be happy to go back again and film some more. It's not that long of a drive, couple hours for me. I've dealt with Gary personally over the years, bought a lot of stuff from him. So um, we got a pretty pretty close you know, friendship where we can, you know, I can go back there anytime and film. So he's a really nice guy. Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna give my friend Johnny a call and uh, hopefully get this show on the road. Thanks. All right, guys, getting ready to gas up. We are on our way to Indiana. I got my buddy Johnny with me and uh, we're gonna go check out some really cool motors. All right, so I'm gonna have to add this little intro in. Unfortunately, I missed the introduction. Uh, my friend Johnny did come with me. <laughs> He's not here right now, but this battery had gone bad. I would pulled it out. I didn't realize I missed the first minute or two. I'd hit record, it kept turning off. Uh, this thing just had blistered out, wasn't working. So we're gonna go right into the footage. Uh, this is Gary, the owner, and Brad, his mechanic. So here we go. Hard to see. And why it doesn't seem real to people. You're gonna walk around this corner and you're gonna see this. See, we've been painting and doing work here. Oh, it's looking good. There's the horsepower.
did you purchase these off of a race team or did did you have we've, we've owned them for a while have you yeah and really right now we're wanting to get this museum there's no, there's no race team that owns this many motors <laughs> in IndyCar you just collected them well in IndyCar currently it's a lease program so they ship you one motor and when you're finished run, running it the motor comes out and you and your new engine arrives, you take the new one, or the rebuilt one, the rebuilt out of the crate, put yours back in, send it back. There are no extra engines, like it's a tracker. Engine. Gotcha. Okay. So That's it's, a, it's a different world than when this took place. But even back then, no teams, no team in IndyCar, and I've been in IndyCar racing for 40 years, there's no team that owns this many engines ever. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. That's cool. It just doesn't happen. That is cool. What years would these have come out of? What? I think it was 07 to 2014. Yeah, okay. They ended so it in 2014. They, were, they switched to the other engine. They ran this for a while. Okay. I think that's how the program ran. I can show you here something kind of interesting, too, for the engine swap guys. Yeah. Almost right now, they're done. This front was set up as a stress motor, right? Oh, yep. Indy car. But being it was based off the production block, the motor mount bosses are all still in the block and stuff. Oh, so okay. if you're trying, you know, be able to actually mount them into something else. So I've got a buddy, Brian, who saw this post and he's like, those look really familiar. He's He actually was trying to swap one of these, and I, I think he did. I don't know how far the project went, but he put one in a GTR, an old school GTR. Awesome. Um, so he's got a whole lot of information out there on getting this in. I don't know what transmission he had made it up to it or whatnot, but he's got another one of these that he's trying to put in another Nissan that he's got as well, but yeah. the only thing I've seen out there with people putting this in a car is through him, and he he came in and commented, and just kind of flooded it with like, hey, anybody interested? This is my information essentially. Well, he's probably so, the only one that has done has it. done it. Yeah, I can't imagine because the thing is, these were lease engines, so they came back in. Uh -huh. You know, you didn't own them, so I yeah, mean, yeah, there's the probably the only you, paid for. you didn't own the motor, so they. Again, just like I was telling you, you got sent your motor. Yeah. Okay, so the history in this engine right here, there's race winners in all these. But I know the history in this motor right here. So this was an engine used by Andretti Auto Sports, sports Michael and Andretti's team. This engine won Pocono, that one right there. And I'm gonna tell you that I haven't reviewed all these, but in here, there are many, many, many race winners. That's awesome. And then they, they're serialized by the block right here, right? On this um, this serial number here? Yes. And then that engine, you'll be able to tell it's a brace winner. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, this this, this, this engine right here, one. this engine right here ran in 2013. Um, I think it ran six races. And it won Pocono. And this one right here, the mileage sheet I has, have it says 1,652 miles. And the only reason I know that one is we've sold that one. <laughs> it just isn't shipped yet. Is this going to, to Australia? Yeah. The highest we've I, seen I on them is close to 10,000, okay. I think, on mileage, yeah. right? Yeah, they, about, they, they all averaged out. But once again, after every time, it tore down, rebuilt. Yeah. And, and, and listen, if there were any problems, they just replaced, you know, let's say they found a cylinder head that was cracked, a brand new cylinder head went on. Uh -huh. You know, so you see the history of the engine, but they've been incredibly well maintained. Um, because race teams, they want to win races. Yeah. So, and then, you know, it's just part of the lease agreement that the engine you get is going to be, you know, fresh engine when it comes back to you. So, it's like I've seen where this engine and what has been, what's been done to it. And, uh, you know, there's some of these engines over a period of time that replaced the entire block because they magnaflex it and seized or saw something they didn't like. Really? Okay. They just put it, I mean, no, no expense was spared to make them all great motors is there a period like an interval period where they recommend doing a rebuild on these tearing things down and rebuilding well mileage generally mileage okay yeah and okay. they were doing it on about 1600 or something like that yeah. right you know, yeah I think this this this, this, this engine went to 1652 miles and was uh was uh, retired okay gotcha so just they're, they're all great motors 
Um, but some of them at the high end, I think I saw around 10,000 miles. Well, with and that's it, really, that, that's at high RP of constant. And they ran road course and ovals, okay? okay? I saw somebody said something about they just ran ovals. This somebody doesn't know what they're talking about. These ran primarily road courses. Really? So, you know, you're going into 30 mile an hour corners up to, you know, 180 miles an hour on a long straight, you know? So, I mean, I, I know that the, I think the top RP, I think, you know, was around 9,000 RPM, I think. 82. I, I saw 82, yeah, I've seen some different numbers, so yeah. pretty big numbers. They were adjusting that on some tracks and stuff too. Yeah. You know, so. Man, this is incredible. It's cool, huh? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> like you said, this well, is- They go back and tell, you, tell them, I saw them. It's, it's real, <laughs> it's real. Well, I already know coming from you, it's real. So no yeah. questions on my end. But. These are uh, what class? Indy Pro. Indy Pro. Yeah, or they call it Indy Lights. They just changed the series name to Indy Next. Indy NXT. And today they, they're running a four cylinder, turbocharged four cylinder. Mazda engine. Mazda motor. And these are phased out one year. 2014. 2014. Yeah. yeah. How many of these parts do you think are readily available? to the public. Okay, so the guys that I talked to, that are, well, we got, you know, that we're doing some of the work on them and stuff, well, kind of the general consensus is, we know the valves, we know the timings, all the timing components. And, well, and, and Brian made the cranks, Corella made the rods. But as far as OEM stuff. Oh, OEM, yeah. Or just, or just or, anything serviceable, I guess, yeah, that you can few, still. Few, a, bit, a bit of it's OEM. Okay. But, yeah, there's a bit of OEM thrown in there. And, like uh, all the OEM castings, basically, the only thing Exactly, yeah. Do they use custom um, ignitions as far as like the coils or is that class specific? You have to run like the factory? They, coil, they call them on out on, this, on our sheets, but I don't know. I haven't gotten into it. So these all come with clutches? What you see, wheels? every engine will come as you as is sitting right here. They're going to be as they there's are. There's a triple disc clutch, yep. tri sub system. The full drive system with the pumps and everything's on it. I mean, it's a complete package. And these were all rebuilt a short bit ago. Well, Some of them well, have. Um, let me get you. Let me walk here and grab my paperwork. Yeah, and yeah, I'll yeah. show you what. what yeah. The, Everyone's a little different of mileage. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Now, were these cars ran on uh, like Motec or Cybex or? You, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've got, I've got stacks of paper. Every engine's got a complete history on it, and some, you know, I've got a few that have got some problems and stuff too, but the bulk of them. So here's kind of like just to show you at the end of like a mileage report, and everyone had a mileage report, and this is one of the engines. You can see it was brought in at what time, rebuilt, mileage. This one, Lambda 1, was Oregon Canoe nice. Lambda's on it. Brought back in, a sticky throttle, they adjust it, 225, That's 1,652 cool. miles, mileage out rebuild. I've got a sheet on every single engine. That's so the full, awesome. and it's who drove it at what track, it's just tons and tons of information. So having that information is incredibly valuable. Yes, yeah. But then here's the, here's the stuff for anybody doing it. I've got the full pinout charts. To get all you know to try to make all this stuff work now do you know what transmission this would bolt to well being that the block was based off you know on the vk45 right gotcha. I, you okay know, but once again i gary was x-track who's building the gearboxes on these so probably x-track yeah. so bill house and bolt patterns the same as God, whatever okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. But what, but yeah. you know, Q forty five was automatic, and you know, you got a triple disc clutch hanging up. Yeah. The I did actually too. I found. I got. It. No, this one's uh, like just a just a strip kind of. I do have uh, a full torque specs in our charter stuff. Oh, nice. For the guy okay. buying it, yeah. You know, all, all, wants I got one hundred percent of the torque specs <laughs> and uh, yeah, just torque specs stuff. So that's cool. So we get quite a bit of information anyways. So this will fit my Honda Civic. Absolutely. <laughs> You'll never know. You will never know. 400 pounds. What's a fully dressed 2JZ? Wait, you know that, I guarantee. Uh, they're like 485. 
rods. Are they? Okay. So see, we just move them around with a couple rods, shove them through the bowl with the mounts on them, and carry them around. Okay. Yeah. That's how we carry That's them around. Awesome. Yeah. So they're at there. Yeah, they're light. That's cool. That is very cool. I mean, if there, like I said, if there's any question, I've told you everything that I know yeah. on them. Like I yeah. said, I can't go too in depth on every little detail. Oh yeah, I don't, there's I no reason don't to. Know, people, but... people should know what they're getting if they're going to be making a purchase like this. Yes. What to expect? Yes. You know. Yes. But they should know. I guess on the upside, there is, you know, parts and stuff out there for them, to where you could get one, be able to run it and do things with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Well, this is cool. I. I just appreciate you guys Let me come out and see this. Well, it's no problem. To you. Yeah. I want you to see it anyways because it looks cool when they're all piled up here yeah, in one place. Awesome. You know? This is awesome. It's a lot of horsepower.